Hello, I'm Bruce Brewer. I'm the General Manager at the Cheetah Conservation Fund here in Ochavarongo, Namibia. We are an international organization aimed at the conservation of cheetah in the wild. We have partners and colleagues throughout the world, including in France. And I'm talking to you, to you today to thank you for your help in supporting us. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori Barker, and I'm the director and founder of the Cheetah Conservation Fund. And um, these are our cheetah ambassadors. They're five years old, and we got them, unfortunately, as orphans when they were three weeks old. So we've raised them. They had to be raised on a baby bottle. With that, it's made them very tame. And we take them um, into the area and let them run for their exercise. But they are standing here with me purring away because they're very content and happy. Uh, we at Cheetah Conservation Fund, our main goal is not to have orphan cheetahs. It's to try to keep cheetahs living free and in the wild. And so most of our work deals with working with the farming community so that they don't have to kill cheetahs, so we don't get orphan babies in, and so that cheetahs can live in the wild for future. Good boy. And B2. Hi. Hello, my name is Eli Walker, and I am a cheetah keeper and researcher here at CCF. And with me is B2 and Phoenix. And B2 here is the youngest cheetah that we have as a resident here at CCF. And he arrived to us back in December of 2014. Um, unfortunately, he was caught on a neighboring farm uh, without his mother. And we tried to search for her, and we tried to use him to try and hopefully find her. Uh, but unfortunately, um, after three or four days of searching, we had no luck. And therefore, the only option that we had was to bring him here um, to take care of. Because at that young of an age, he was only about six months of age, he would not have survived on his own. And therefore, captivity was the only option for him. So now he lives here at CCF with Phoenix, who was also by himself. Phoenix is quite a, quite a few years older than B2, um, but they get along very, very well. Males naturally in the wild are very social. Um, so although they didn't know each other at first, they began to become best friends, and now they're kind of inseparable. Interesting over here. You guys can look at each other. Look here. No, B, B, B. Hi, B, 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 B. B, B. B, 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 B. Hi, I would like to thank you, um, the school, which has adopted B2. Thank you very much. So now you know who B2 is. And he's a, as we said, he's our youngest cheetah. And he's just a very, very nice cheetah. Since he didn't have a mom, he's got Phoenix who takes care of him. And the two of them are very best friends. 